Finally, what we've been waiting for, the card to put all cards to shame. This one doesn't pull your personal credit, which is absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna tell you how you can get it. It's a business credit card for $20,000, 20K credit card that you don't have to use your social, no SSN, no credit check, and you can have the low FICO score and still get this one. This is absolutely incredible. You can finally set up a credit card on your own business without you personally guaranteeing it. This is absolutely amazing, very cool. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Coming from your Uncle Sam. Not a, that Uncle Sam. It's another Uncle Sam. I'll get into that later. Let's talk about empowering you as empowering you to build strong financial foundations and empower you to get financial decisions that can help you in the future with your money. But I hope this inspires you in some way to take some action. Please hit the subscribe button, smash the like button. I think you're gonna enjoy this video. So let's focus on how you can get approved for the Sam's Club business credit card from MasterCard. If you're a business owner looking to expand your purchasing power, the Sam's Club credit card might be just what you need. I got a credit card from Casa I got a business credit card from Costco. As you know, I got 26 cards all together. Now I'm gonna have a good probably 20, no, 30 at this point. In this video, we're gonna walk you through the process, the application process, and share with you the tips, the tricks, and increasing your chances of getting approved while also covering the benefits of having a Sam's Club credit card, such as access to exclusive member pricing and cashback rewards on eligible purchases. And for those people who love Costco, I'm sorry, they both have great, I think, five dollar chickens, right? I love those chickens. Whether you're running a business for a long time or are just starting out, it's important to know how to get credit and build relationships with financial institutions. So grab a pen and pencil and let's dive in. My name is Andrew Cartwright. I'm here to help you get money, leverage it, which is this part of it, and then invest it so that you can have long lasting financial success. I've been broken homeless, literally homeless, and multi-millionaire, deca-millionaire four times finally feel like I locked in that success. Knock on wood, you never know what could happen but I've done it four times, starting 32 companies over 40 years in 17 industries and also bought 17 companies. Right now though, my biggest goal is to partner with you in Epic 99 to buy 99 successful companies from those baby boomers that built good businesses where you own 81%, I own 19%, you run it. I don't wanna have anything to do with it. Just you do it, I'll help you put up the capital and put everything in place. So if you know a business for sale or if you wanna sell a business, make sure you let us know in the description below. Down there is a link to be part of Epic 99. There's a link for that. Also, if you need a loan for your business, we got 12 programs, 81 different lenders, sometimes 75 if they run out of money. Banks are having a tough time right now. So, you know, we get banks that drop off and come on, but we've got you covered 12 different programs to help you out, get the money that you need for your business. We put out capital every single day. But first, let's dive into the Sam's Club. Yeah, Sam's Club. You may not have thought about joining there, but the business credit card and MasterCard is unique because it exclusively based on just your business credit. Now to get this credit card, you don't have to go through a credit check or give a personal guarantee. I'll say that again. You don't have to go through a personal credit check and you don't have to give a personal guarantee. This is amazing. They have two versions, a regular store card, which you can only use at Sam's Club and Walmart and a MasterCard, which is anywhere. MasterCard is accepted, which is pretty much almost everywhere, right? You can apply for the Sam's Club business card without having to go through a hard credit check. Check. If you have very bad credit and you want to get a business credit card, you can register your business, set it up, start with business vendor credit with tier one business credit vendors. That's like, you know, you get a phone bill in that name, you get utilities, you get something that's going to report to that business so that you can establish at least some vendor credit. Once you've established a low risk credit profile, doesn't matter about your personal, you're eligible to apply for the Sam's Club business card. If you don't have established business 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 credit, you may have to do a personal guarantee on the card. You might want to be patient, get a phone bill, get some different bills on that business, and then wait and six months apply. However, I don't recommend this, especially if you're keeping it off your personal credit or don't want to affect your personal credit at all. Like me, I took a credit card because I wanted to get free parking and lost seven points, which was horrible. I went from 850 to 843. And being that, you know, I'm a credit expert when it comes to this stuff, a banker, it hurts. I'm not bragging. I'm just, I like to get the a plus in school. You know what I'm saying? Well, the Sam's Club Business MasterCard is the best credit card for small businesses that I've found. As long as you follow a sequence of steps, you can get approved for your business credit card. And in this video, I'll walk you through the steps to qualify for the Sam's Club Business Credit Card. The first step of the process is having a real business. Hello, 
a real business. You wanna make sure your business is registered. If you're trying to use a CPN number or anything like that, it's not gonna work, it's just not. So you gotta set up a business. You gotta register your business by registering with the Secretary of State. Just go to the Secretary of State, Google Secretary of State, your state, go to the website, fill out the application and basically do it. Then you're gonna wander over on the internet, the good old Google net, type in EIN number IRS. You can go directly to the website. You can get your EIN number pretty quickly. Don't send it right back to you. Additionally, you wanna go to Dun & Bradstreet. Grab a number there and make sure you register your company. But Sam's Club is currently not a DNB qualified. So you're not gonna look at that. They will be using Experian IntelliScore to qualify you. They'll be using Experian. So you might wanna ask those vendors if they report to Experian. Now let's jump over to show you how the structure of the business card file, how to do it in order to get qualified. You're gonna to want to have at least five or eight trade lines reporting on that business profile. A trade line shows a minimum of a credit limit of 2,500 and should be reported to at least two of the major credit bureaus like Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, or maybe Equifax, at least two of them. When you apply for the Sam's Club business card, they will ask you for your business tax ID. It's like the social of the business, the legal name of the business, and the date the business was established, and your annual revenue. You may also be asked for additional information, such as the industry or business that you're in, the number of employees you have, and the type of business entity that you have. They probably don't care about how many employees, it's just probably more of a survey thing to know you better. They're supposed to know you. The Sam's Club business credit card and the business MasterCard is a great choice for small business owners who want to build business credit without having to personally guarantee it, which is unbelievable. The card or go through a personal credit check, which I personally am adverse to, I'm allergic to it. So you can register your business, set it up and start. It's that simple. I do want you to keep in mind that the standard industry classification and the North American industry classification system, the NAICS and the NIC, which you can Google too, which are used to classify your business, certain vendors may focus on specific types of businesses, which can impact the type of credit that you get and get approved for. But however, from my understanding, Sam's Business Club Master card is generally open to all types of business. They're pretty inclusive, if you know what I mean. When it comes to credit score, there are several categories and risk levels ranging from high risk to low risk. And ideally, you want to have a low risk score, which is typically 76 to 100. It's not personally, it's related to your business. It's not personal. You know what I'm saying? It's not personal. It's business. This is a sweet spot for getting approved for the Sam's Club business card. If you're reading through the lines, it's amazing. You can have horrible credit. However, in these cases, people with medium credit scores uh, still are approved and starting with a credit limit that's not as high, not 20,000, but maybe two or 2,500 bucks. Factors that affect your business credit score include a number of trade lines, outstanding balances, if you have it, payment history, credit utilization, and trends over time, like how often you pay. It's also important to keep in mind any public records that you may have, as well as that SIC code, because some business classifications are inherently more riskier than others, which can impact your credit score. For example, during you know the, the thing, the pandemic, many entertainment and restaurant businesses were considered high risk. Today, it's probably it. Banks seem like they're high risk. Another consideration is the financial stability risk rate Rating, which ranges from one to five, similar to credit scores. You ideally want to be in the low risk category for ratings. This can improve your chances of getting approved for various types of business credit. Now to recap, with several steps to take when applying for the Sam's Club business credit card, first, make sure the business is registered, okay? Next, build your business credit line by establishing some payment history on your different thing. And lastly, get your low risk score, high rating from a financial institution to improve it. It's worth waiting for so that you can get your report so you don't have to attach this to your personal credit. This will increase your chances to get approved for a credit limit. This is absolutely incredible. The Sam's Club business card is a useful tool for businesses and you should definitely get one, but it's important to know the diff a different thing like the business classification code, credit scores, and public records. In effect, your approval should pass through the muscles mustard. By thinking about these things, businesses, they can increase their chances to get this card and grow your business and grow your credit profile, which is ultimately ultimately what I'd love you to do and eventually buy some real estate, partner with me in the Epic 99 and just move forward. Take care. My name is Andrew Cartwright. Love you.